Hmm. Hmm. So much happening in football. Hey, focus on assistant coaches, on players, on coaches that are moving. Uh, focus on uh, you know how much hair Jeremy's uh, beard has actually gained. <laughs> uh, I was I was waiting for the captain of Orlando Pirates. Who? Oh. No. No. Where's Pirates? Top eight. No. 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 Man. Do you remember what happened last season? No. It's a reminder. Hi, whatever. Top eight. Dololo. How? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just used to, you know, Pirates top eight. Now, you know, top what? Top 12. <laughs> sure, guys, come on. Go easy, go easy. <laughs> I'm he's, he's had nothing to do with what happened at Pirates before. But from now onwards, he has everything to do with it. Militant Shredojevic returns back to South Africa. And back on a banjo couch, good to see you, sir. Good to see you too. It's a pleasure and privilege being here at that famous magic couch. I had always thought over all these years, 127 months away from this country, how it is to be on magic couch. Finally, you brought me back. I mean, there you are. And I know that when you're in Uganda, you're watching Supersport all the time and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, when am I going to get there? Here you are, sir. How's it been coming back to Orlando Pirates? 127 months uh, since I have last time been wow. around with you. It has been an amazing journey of African football studies uh, in three different countries winning four major trophies, two times to semi-finals of Confederation Cup and once uh, to Champions League. Uh, national team of Rwanda, national team of Uganda for the last four years. That project finished and finally I'm back here, uh, changed person. I have been one coach that time with 10 years and half of experience across Africa. You are a changed person. What has changed? Changed is that over 300 international matches under my belt with winning ratio with over 60% Hmm. is something that uh, gives me, and I want to call it, uh, let us say, uh, <laughs> possibility and credit that even here in South Africa I could deliver what is expected from me. From but the, what, what made you say yes? Because here you are coaching a national team, which is a different thing, and you've done so well with Uganda. The Pirates have had that star since 95. That star starting to fade, right? Sundowns have caught up and they've got a star now. Is it part of your mandate with Pirates when you sat down at the chairman Ivan Koza to say you're going to add on to that star, given all of the stats that you've just mentioned now, which are glorious? Is that part of the mandate? Uh, deep inside myself is absolutely mandate because uh, um, let, let me say that the uh, dream of any coach is to reach the top of Africa. A uh, platform given to me uh, has a roof on the end, and the roof is to put second star uh, to bring to Pirates. Mm. And in that regard, uh, I have come. journey of a uh, thousand miles is starting with first step. I'm back, I'm fully aware of expectation, fully aware of uh, demands that uh, only result keeps you in hot seat. In that regard, from the day one, I pulled the sleeves, started to work, and I believe uh, in club I am, and support given by chairman and all the structures. In the club, sub millions of supporters, believe in players we are working with, believe in work we are going to put in, and on the end, uh, God will judge, but I believe we shall give the reason God to help us. 